Welcome, Wizards face faithful to H.J. Dudley Field for a windy day. Some winds of lacrosse here against Rest Christian. Rest Christian coming in with a 5-4 and four record. Wizards coming in 4-5, and five, but we have played some tough opponents too. Really inexperienced and unpredict unpredictable teams coming into this one, so we'll see how it goes. What do you think, Caleb? Yeah, we will definitely will see how it goes. Uh, seen a lot of wind recently on the Wizard w Windsor Wizard Broadcasting Network out here on the field just affecting the game. We'll see if that has any sort of effect. Should be good in lacrosse. Um, saw a lot of effect on soccer yesterday. The ball was getting pushed. We'll see if the weather has any effects. But both these teams, you know, pretty similar records. So one conference should be very close. We see the Wizards play a lot of back-and-forth games. We, I'd anticipate uh, that happening again tonight. Of course, as we see the teams meeting up there at center field. This is the first game I've called lacrosse this season, so another new game. You know, I feel like lacrosse doesn't get a whole lot of coverage, so it's nice that we get to, we get to cover these games, and, you know, it's a good day for some Windsor lacrosse. We got Windsor with the all-white, and we got rest with the blue and the white. Just an interesting matchup for the Wizards. You s Obviously, who jumps off your screen today is going to be number 20, 20 Hayden williams -Sid, who leads the team in points and goals. So, you know, he's their electric guy, super fast, super speedy, able to get the ball in the back of the net. Yep, you see him do some really creative drives to the net, and uh, you'll see just how he gets by the defense, makes really good passes, and g very good at just, yeah, being creative around the net. So it's an entertaining player to watch for sure when the Wizards are on the offensive end. And then we have some recruits for Rez Christian, but we'll pause here as we're going to stop for the national anthem. Thank you. 
And here we go. Wind starting to pick up a little here in this one. Yeah. 12, oh. 12 minute quarters in a lacrosse game. Usually it's a little slower pace. It kind of reminds me, it's kind of a hybrid of, of soccer and, and hockey in that kind of way with the passing and, like, how they set up to score. Definitely. It's, like, pretty much land hockey. <laughs> but That already exists. It's called field hockey. Well, it's basically that. Just with, you know, in the air. It's the big difference, I guess. And the ice. You can smell it in the air. It's a good day <laughs> for some boys to cross. Here we go. Wizards. We can definitely smell it in the air up here because it's blowing up by the wind. <laughs> Wizards versus the Cougars. If that doesn't hype you up, I don't know what does. Good work, guys. Edwin Diaz yep. uh, pitching song. Yeah. Playing. The walkout. Just like Wizards classic. This is now like the universal hype song. Yep. Especially here. See the Wizards huddle there, getting ready. Wizards played some tough opponents so far this year, so you know this is a very. I feel like this is a very even matchup today. Yep, it's especially on paper. We'll see who comes in and maybe asserts themselves. I think it'll be a close game. Uh, appears that we forgot to put the pylons out, so <laughs> that's currently being done. Yep, sure is. At a slight delay, and the action gets the team. Coach is a quick extra minute to talk to the guys. We're going to have the starting lineup graphic up here. See Hayden Williamson, Kale Michael, Cam Smith, Carter Bailey, Kate Soul, Jake Jackson, Cooper Ten Tendall, Keenan Larn, Weston Brummer, Gavin Bishop. Really watch out for number 21 and number 8 out today. Yeah. Primary scorers here those for the are, Those are the guys that will put it in the net for you. And Carter Bailey, you know, just the sophomore, has really stepped up well as that goalie. He's made some big-time saves, done a good job of keeping his team in the game. See how he fares against his resurrection Christian offense. <laughs> <laughs> and an interesting uh, interesting little storyline we got going here is that they're actually going against Dylan Cronover, which is the Wizards' former goalie. Oh, wow. And now he's playing for Res Christian. So maybe it's one of those situations where, you know, you know the guy you're shooting on, so you know yeah. a little bit better, but I'm sure you know some of our moves as well. True. All right. Interesting to see how they – that matchup goes. They got enough pylons, not quite – it's two – <laughs> Two on this side, one on the other side. I don't know if that's custom, but... And they sure are taking their sweet time. Yeah, they're... Boundaries for this game are going to be the gray lines you see there on the field. Yep. And you see the balls are set up, like, all around the field. That's because the closest person, when the ball gets shot and it goes out of bounds, gets possession. It's a very quick game, so you just want to pick that ball up because it's running clock yep. every quarter unless it's after a score. A lot of time the ball flies all the way out of the s field and into the river over there, so gotta have just be ready from everywhere. Keep your head on a swivel. There you go. That's, now the refs are gonna get a chance to get this game underway. Certainly a rougher game to be a sideline camera. Yeah, it's gotta be. But what I do like when we're watching lacrosse and calling the game is that it is a game that is very, very physical. And I think that's super fun to watch. Love yep. physical sports. So you'll see some hits. Exactly. You can hit it. You can hit uh, to the body checks are yeah. definitely one of the best parts of lacrosse. And you'll see the lacrosse sticks yep, flying you can everywhere. Use, and you can use your stick to hit people too. So it's kind of it's cool. Fun stuff. So here we go. Finally, pylons out. About a face off in the middle. Face off, man. <laughs> here for Res Christian is actually. One of the best in Colorado, 145 ground balls. And we saw last year, Gage Bachman was one of the best Incredible. in Colorado here for Windsor. Yeah. Transferred to Valor to play lacrosse at an even higher level for his senior year. So, Pass to start off there was a little high. Nobody has possession yet as it's bouncing around from the Wizards net. So scrum, finally. Rez gets it. Yeah, now they're yeah. going to set up their offense. 
Number 26 waiting there, Alexander Adfield. He's able to win that ball out of hard to earn, but now. Setting up their offense. There's Adfield behind the net. Pass it to number eight. Cougars playing around the world right now. Watch for Jacob this attack Adams. right here. You see the screen and sh fake shot. Good opening there. He shoots. And a great save there by Carter Bailey. Good shot on goal by Jacob Arnold. That's just a freshman. Yeah. Ball goes only down and Arnold misses. And it is not. It is picked up by the Wizards. The Wizards are on the attack. Arnold went for the, ba the bounce shot down there. And it was good reaction there from Carter Bailey to pick up the pretty easy save. Now the Wizards get their first offensive yep. possession. Hey, here we go. First touch of the game here for Hayden Williamson. He's one of those guys where, you know, you just – you just want the ball on his stick. You know, you, you want him making the moves as we have a drive towards the net. Going to go behind. Fakes a pump shot there. It's going to roll, 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 but able to collect is Riley Hujar. You saw the drive first one of the game there from Williamson. You saw his ability to just get by the defense as that shot goes wide. And there's a great example there. Missed shot there by Hayden Williamson, but... Number eight, Cooper Tendall was the closest to the ball, so it will be Wizards possession. And here we go. Tendall, see right that. around the 20-yard line, he's going to cut inside. See Might that. have had a lane. That was just a pick and roll and in lacrosse. How about that? What a great shot there by Liam Charters. A laser on his first shot of the game in the Wizards with a great set offensive play there off the inbound. Yep, he's got the screen. Both guys took uh, Tendall coming around the screen, stopping the drives. So just... Hit the roller. I mean, pick and roll. Pick, pick and, and roll. Pops. Pick and roll is live. Yes. In every multiple sports. Look at that. So great start here for the Wizards. You always like to be the first one on top. 1-0 lead with 10 minutes left to go here in this first quarter. This time, it's a face-off win, which is, I mean, quite frankly, a little surprising there. Going against one of the best. Great job. But here comes Williams with that speed. Shoots and he scores. Two quick ones for the Wizards as they take a 2-0 lead. And it starts with Carroll. Michael winning the faceoff. Gets the very, very quick drive. And before the defense can even react, Hay Hayden Williamson gets right by. Just gets the simple underhand shot right under the goalie. What a start for the Wizards. You, see can, if hear the, you can hear the team shouting for Kale up there. Doing a great job on that last faceoff win. The underdog, but he's up one nothing right now. Let's see if he can win another one. All right, and get another and quick attack. He will not. So here we go again. Rez, a little more aggressive offensively, of course, now find themselves in the hole 2 nothing. Here's Adfield again at the top. Going to pass it over to Booman. Buman goes right to Wiggins. They should run a pick and roll, maybe. Well, oh, has he in a spin. spin? Good close, though. Good opening there. Right around the net. Goes okay. behind the back and out of bounds. Went for the fancy. Yeah. yeah. Behind the back pass there. A little too cute. Ooh, they're saying that's a shot. I, I thought that was a pass, but it will be Cougars' possession. Interesting fact if it goes out of bounds on a pass, it's actually a turnover. So. You know, you'll see a few close calls there as the pass is the shot. It was around the net. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a bad shot if it was a shot. They're kind of going the wrong way. But, oh, slip. And Clean up on aisle five. Picked up by the Wizards. There you go. Take advantage of the fall to get it up. Good outlet pass there, but well fronted by the Cougars as they're able to regain possession. And they're back out on the breakaway. He's being... Guarded there by number 16, Liam Charters. Had that early goal. He's off to a good start. Good ball pressure there by Charters. Cougars looking to find their first score of the game. They've had some offensive flow, just yeah. not that many shots. The one shot on goal was handled well by Bailey. There they go behind the net once again. Nice. He's going to drive inside and... Oh. No goal. He did pull the goalie out. If a res guy could have, like, been there, he could have hit it. For the but rebound. Yeah, no one was there on the rebound. 
Newman back to the point. Errant pass there. And it is not picked up. It's finally picked up by the Wizards. They're trying to get out of bounds there. Good play there by number 26, Xander Hatfield, to get the ball back in possession. Yeah, now they got the shorter sticks on offense. They got a little more control. Rez is going to use a timeout there. What are you seeing so far out there, Caleb? Wizards off to a fast 2-0 lead. Um, they sure are, Rez. Uh, they're getting really good drives. They capitalized very well on their offensive opportunities. Uh, may, very quick when they were able to just, you know, the quick pick and roll play and the quick off of the faceoff win. They're very, um, not when they're, you know, running around and trying to set stuff up. It's when they just go. And, uh, yeah, just right now just playing a little quicker than the Cougars are. Cougars have slowed it down a little bit, tried to get, their uh, stuff going on the offensive end. They've got a couple chances, not there yet. Um, we'll see what kind of adjustments they're making calling this timeout. For sure, but if you're the Wizards, just want to ride that momentum starting off so quickly. But uh, lacrosse is one of those games where, you know, goals can go up in a hurry, and it's all about momentum. Momentum gets shit very fast, and there's plenty of game left. So Wizards will be looking to keep their foot on the pedal coming out of this first timeout. Yeah, for sure, and like obviously they called the uh, Res called the timeout, but the Wizards also get the chance to talk it over with their coach, say what they're doing well and maybe not well. So here we go again. Res Christian has been on the attack for a while now, and here they go again. Their offensive set. Around the world once again. Man, Wizards kind of keeping them outside. It's taking them a while to get there. And that's what you Looks. see. No open lanes, which is good. That's great defense. Trying to put a move out there is Arnold. Still has it. Spins back. Great defense. Almost an errant pass there, a little high, but it was still gathered in by Leighton Henry. Henry going up to the 10 yard line, passing oh. it inside. We got a cut there, but it was ah, great completely defense. cut off. Yeah, an awesome defense there by Jake Jackson. Still not able to find any inside lanes. Here they are behind the net. Got the goalie out of place. There's, there There's, it is. They didn't have someone there last time. That time they had someone on that back net. Capitalized probably the adjustment the coach made that right there. You know, the um, first time they got a driver and they were able to pull the goalie and Wizards defense out to that right side. Didn't have anyone there. Had someone there for the pass. An easy goal that time. You know, that's that's just what happens uh, when you're in the offensive zone for too long. You see that happen a lot of times in hockey, too. Those That defense starts getting tired a little bit. They get out of position, and just like that, they'll exploit you. Yep, exactly, and I think that one was big. Out of position, just like, you know, getting that drive in, suck, bringing the defense in leads to that opening on the backside of the goal. And another win. That's such an advantage when you can win those faceoffs really at such a is. consistent rate, like, it's a huge. It's a huge advantage. Here's Henry to Irma. Yeah, possession time definitely favors the Cougars so far. Still just trying to get some going here. They were very, very patient team. Perkle gets on the left side, goes back to Berman. We'll find Henry. Henry assuming his position a little bit behind the net there. Wizards got it, forced a turnover or something. They, they've just been sitting there with the ball. They're going to drive yeah. inside. Yeah. As a lane, shoots. Ooh. Might have been a pass. Uh, yeah, that probably was a pass. It was yeah. kind of the same thing, trying to collapse the defense on that right side, but wasn't able to find anyone down there ready, and they were able to control the pass, though, and we'll get right back to it. Here we go again, making the moves. Good defense there by Ooh. the Wizards, and they force... A turnover there. There you go. Great defensive plays by the Wizards. And finally, they'll get going on the offensive end. They've had three shots and two goals, so no. you want to keep shooting at that net. Let's see if you can get another quick drive. But first, you need to clear the defensive zone, obviously. Charters trying to clear. He's going to get collapsed. Wizards just trying to look for the out outlet pass here, just jogging. Here they go. Coming down the right side, and he Ooh. loses the ball and gets hit-sticked. All right, okay, there's a good hit. Yeah. 
That is uh, on that hit was Xander Adfield for Cougars. A little good morning. Yeah. Waking up Jake Jackson over yeah. there on the left side. Did deck him. Good hit. Oh, my goodness. The ball just went in. <laughs> it was actually from the inbound pass. Nobody was able to collect it, and it pounces, goes in the colon just like that. It's a 2-2 game. Unfortunate bounce there for the Wizards. We'll blame that one on the wind. My goodness. Like we said, this is going to be an unpredictable game yep. as we have 5-16 left here in this first quarter. 2-2, two to two, just like that. And the Wizards, like we were saying, they have not – don't have the time of possession lead at all. Let's see if Kale Michael can win himself another faceoff here, maybe. Because Wizards have shown once they get into the offensive zone, they're able to do well. And oh, look at that! Jake Jackson's taking some hits. He is. But that's going to be a penalty on the Cougars. I think that was Adfield crossing over. So here we go, Wizards able to set up their set up their offense now. Jackson oh. with the errant pass, it was behind Williamson and he wasn't able to pick it up. And just like that, the Cougars get the ball right back. Not yeah, a good pass there from Jackson. Not the best offensive possession. Good and passing. Yeah, there. Cougars making it look real easy coming out. Ooh. Oh, good defense there by the Wizards, but the key is picking it up uh, in those in-between moments. Yeah, that was good job to knock it down. Also, really good job, though, by Rez's Henry to just come in and swipe it up. And now the Wizards are back the other way. Easy shot here. Oh, hey. what a great pass. That was number 27, Gavin Bishop, getting it inside to Kenan Larm, one-on-one -on -one in front of the net. He's going to score that every time. And there you see that's the pace. When the Wizards get up with pace, they're having a lot of success in this game. And if you've, and if you've ever like seen lacrosse, usually when that guy comes streaking down the middle untouched, it's really hard to stop. He's got guys flanking him on both sides. So <coughs> nine times out of ten, that's going to end up being a goal. Mm -hmm. Wizards offense looking excellent, but they just got to do a little better on the defensive side pressuring the Cougars. Yeah, they really don't. When they get in the that offensive zone, they're very, being very efficient and quickly scoring, but it's just getting it there. Oh, Kill Michael, he would have had the face off, just but – he thought he had it. Nobody there to pick up the ball. Unfortunate turn there. Yeah, just hard to find that ball right after it pops out. Didn't know where it was. So once again, here's Buman. Point of attack here. Trying to find a lane. Going right. Thought he might have a little bit of space there. Lex to pass it to Arnold. Back over to Henry. Those three have had the ball most of the game for the Cougars on the offensive side. Circling back around the 20. Shuffling, goes left. Not able to get anything going, just spinning back and forth and another errant pass. It's good defense. Great defense there by the sophomore Logan Stevens. Wizards just kind of there. Cougars are keeping it down here for a while, but they're doing a good job of uh, not allowing a lot of opportunities or goals, obviously, off of their actual possessions. They've only allowed one goal. Here come the Wizards again. Here comes Kill Michael streaking down the left side with those long strides. Pass is picked up. Gets a little bit of an opening. There's Larm. Just had that last goal. Good pass. So Wizards looking to set up. Here they come. A little bit slow, methodical. Kendall. Uh, nice drive. Inside. Has a 10. Good job keeping that ball away. Being harassed doesn't matter. There's Williamson at the point. Look for him to attack here. Sizing up the defender. Just jogging right. Wait till he turns those jets on. Still waiting. He's kind of he's kind of putting them to sleep right now. Guess who's positioned behind the net? Here we go. We'll get some going. Stevens. That was not a, not picked up by anyone, but Williamson comes away with it. Great awareness by Williamson. Sees an opening. Stevens shoots, and Got he it. scores. Logan Stevens with a defensive play on the other end, getting rewarded on the offensive side of the ball. 
and they're really getting after it right now. Scoring in 2-0 two, two runs, two for the Wizards, one for the Cougars, going back and forth, scoring two goals. That was just a good job. That was Hayden Williamson kind of controlling the ball yeah. and uh, setting his teammate up right in front of the goal, kind of a further shot, but straight on shot, was able to just power, power it into the goal. Good things happen when he's the one with the ball. Exactly. It's just like that was like a slap shot in hockey, setting him up. I got a false start. Nah. Weston Brummer there. The illegal start. So the Cougars will look to strike back here. Adams. Waiting. Very methodical game across. It's like a game of chess. Just waiting to take well, advantage of the open space. It's also that and uh, how you go back and forth, taking turns on the possession sides, pretty much. Ooh. He thought about a wraparound there, but didn't have the space for a good defense there by the Wizards. Three Wizards defenders standing right in the way of doing that. 90 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Cougars looking to strike again before the end of this quarter. A little hesitation there by Adams. That was a pump fake and good save good by save, Bailey. Yeah. Oh, but Christian <laughs> picks it right back up. And Wizards force the yeah. it, turnover. A bit of a strange play. He touched and went out of bounds and looking to score with this last minute. There's Michael again. Good save though. Too by Carter Baylor. Bit of a rough pass there. Here comes Hujar. Hujar with a little spin. Gets it up field. Here come the Wizards. You see them circle back a lot of times and don't want to force anything. Hujar spins left, retreats. See if you can get one more in these last 40 Back seconds, charters. you got time to get it going. Yep. Charters waiting for some space. Williamson in the center here. Look for look for them to get him in a good good steal there, but the Wizards are going to be able to pick it up. Good play there by the Wizards. Yeah. 22 seconds left to go. Another spin there. Opening things up. Thought about dumping it to Williamson and here they go. Look for him to attack right here. Here you go, a little shovel stuff. Come, gets inside. Getting, Absolutely hounded. And he oh. keeps the ball. Oh, my goodness. Hayden Williamson gets around the entire defense and goes behind the net. He really earned that drive. He did. Ran out of time. But, yeah, that was. they made sure they didn't want him scoring that. Huh? And your Wizards with a 4-2 lead here at the end of the first quarter. Very back and forth game, like you said. Two goal runs for each team. Yeah, what do you think the Wizards need to do to uh, maintain this lead? I'd say try to keep it in uh, their offensive end a little bit more. It's hard with the face-off consistency uh, and advantage that the Cougars seem to have with winning those face-offs. But uh, if you can just get the ball on your offensive possession more, they're they're really they're scoring uh, at a very high percentage when it's on that offensive side. So they can just try to control the ball a little more. I think they got it. Also very impressed. Just really from the Wizards offensively, just because they are so, I mean, they're on top of the goalie right now. And it just seems like one of those games where most shots that they're taking are going in to the net. Yep. So if for the Wizards, it's all about being able to get those defensive stops so you can get back on the offensive side of the ball. Definitely. And that's that's what they've been. They've done that really well, right? Because the, if you even count that as a real goal allowed on that second one. It's kind of was not a traditional goal. So, Oh, that is true. Yeah. It came very came from a very deep and awkward angle. Not really sure as nobody touched the ball and it just kind of dribbled yeah. into the net. Wasn't, it wasn't off one of their set plays. They've done a very good job at defending Rez's half-court offense, if that's what you call it, half-field offense. Because they have had plenty of opportunities and it's tough with the 
the face-off advantage. Yep, exactly. Definitely. So Wizards have done a great job because they need to capitalize any time that they're setting that offensive zone. Pretty much they need it's, to score. It, a game like this where they're winning the face-offs like that te really tests your defense. And they've withheld pretty well so far. So here we are switching sides. Second quarter going to start. And when you have less opportunities on the offensive end, you got to make the most of them. And they've definitely done that so far. Another face off here, one by the Cougars. So here we go once again. And like, and like you said, I mean, Rush Christian, they've just had a really tough time with trying to get like something just going. It just yeah, seems like the Wizards getting, are making them pass around. Getting good looks has not been easy for them. Like that's a great example right there. Multiple times the Wizards have been able to cut inside off that angle, but nothing going here for the Cougars. Adams thinking about longer shot there, but hesitates behind the net again. Yeah, they've just kind of pushed them to the outside just like this. Like Here's Adfield. Adfield back to Adams, and the ball goes rolling. Wizards are going to try to pick it up, and they do. Smooth pick up there. Larm in the open field. Shoots. And he scores again. And just look, look when the the Cougars are having a very tough time getting back on defense off of, off of those quick pickups like that. It seems like you don't see that too much in lacrosse where you get fast break, if you will, opportunities. Yeah. But the Wizards have gotten a couple of those where they've just had one on one with the goalie, and that's not at all their goalie's fault. It's just and that it's all tough. starts with the excellent pickup there. In the perfect pass to Kenan Larm. Yeah, that was a great pickup by Tyndall uh, uh, to make it so quick, too, because yeah. the defense was up trying to get the ball. The quick pickup just had them on their heels. Great awareness from the Wizards. Brummer not able to win the faceoff there. And another errant pass, and the Wizards are going to be able to get the ball as it was a pass and not a shot. So here we go. Bailey. It'll launch it down the field. There's Kill Mike all by himself. And they're like, look, just look at how much space they have again right off the drive. Michael maybe should have taken that one inside because there was space there. Right sitting there behind the net so the Wizards can get set up. Ah, but they lose it. They do, and that'll go out of bounds. It'll be Cougars ball. A bit of a missed opportunity there for the Wizards. Yeah, but you can afford it. Can't get them all. Brendan Mulligan into the game for the first time for the Wizards, number 45 out there. And, you know, this is a pretty big team we have. Look mm -hmm. down there, especially because a lot of schools that don't have lacrosse as a sport come to Windsor to play lacrosse, so it's a mixture. Guys yeah. from a couple different schools. Severance and Charter, right? Yeah. All right, so here we go again. Adams searching. Big pass there. They've just been living there, sitting on the corner. There's Arnold. Being guarded by Michael. Around the world, once again, Adfield. Back. Back to Adams with the point. Full cycle there <laughs> for the Cougars. Adams with the long shot, and he scores. A few bodies in front of Carter Bailey there. Not sure if he was able to see that one coming in, and it's a score, and Russ Christian. Bounces back. Still not, not getting, Rest Christian still not getting amazing looks, though. It's like they kind of need, are forced into further shots like that because the Wizards are guarding the net so well. So that was a very good shot. It's powerful bounce. Hard to defend that. We'll see if Wizards can get a faceoff. Weston Brummer back there on the faceoff. And... Had to earn that one a little bit more, yeah. but. Make them work, that's good. So here come the Wizards just, again. It seems like in these, last year it was Gage Bachman who would just consistently yeah. win the faceoffs for the Wizards. And go and sprinting down the other yeah. side of the field and eventually score. And he would really give them that advantage. That's kind of seems to, having a guy like that on these lacrosse Ooh. high school teams really seemed to make a difference. Oh my goodness. You ruined the highlight. Yeah, that was, that was an excellent spin move. <laughs> the Wizards were able to get the ball back. Bailey behind the net. Launches it forward. Here comes Michael. 
He's too big. Shrugs off the hit. And he'll go all the way down the field. Look at this. He's got a wide open shot. He likes to pass oh. to Larm. Yeah, because that was 2-on-1 right yeah, there. Yeah, I thought he was going to shoot it. I mean, he was right there streaking down the right side. It was a bit of a tough angle. He does, he does have the bigger defensive stick, too. He does. Huh. Imagine that's tougher. To and, you know, Larm, Larm with the hot hand. He has two goals. Yeah. Wizards time to lock in defensively. Wood back to Berman. Fuman. Fuman. Serving the defense, cutting inside. Wizards not able to pick it up as it goes cross. Oh. And Jackson Adams with his second. That yes. was even more of a sniper on that one. Yeah, he's Top got right corner. He's got range from from there. It's like Wizards are right there defensively, but he's just able to rear back and put that ball right on the money. And he's been flirting with that shot a few times. Well, pump fakes back there. He finally unripped those last two. Makes it five to four, keeping this game close. Eight seventeen to go in the first half, of course. By four, and it'll be oh, a, uh, uh, not oh, and the Wizards are they're not, gonna get tripping on yeah, somebody. Yeah, I, I believe that this should be a Wizards Wizards ball here. And yeah, it will, will be. There you go. You had a face off, and you can't help but expect a score here from the Wizards. Here they go. Hujar. that over to the side, Tindall. Wizards just being patient right now. There's Charters. Had that first goal of the game. Just waiting there. Charters. Goes, has to circle back. Back to Hujar. Hujar. With a brisk jog there. Going to the back of the net. Looking for Milton Williams. Tindall kick it back out to Tindall. Tindall shuffles. Thinks about the shot. He's followed all the way back out to the 40-yard line. Good defense there by the Cougars. Wizards a little stale right now offensively, but here comes Tindall down the right side. Tindall going to go right behind the net. Thought, thinking about the wraparound inside. Defenders round him. He shoots, oh. and he misses, but it will be Wizards' possession there. Good job by Riley Hujar being the first over. That was a good take, just barely missed. It was. Tindall going back for round two, and he scores! Cooper, Tindall giving the Wizards a two-goal lead. Exact same kind of play where he comes wrapping around and... Maybe he saw something yeah, on that first gets, one. Gets that space on the side shot, gets that one in. Found his opening. Great job there by Cooper, Tindall. No, so far it's really early in this game, but Rex Christian has done a good job of not letting Hayden Williamson, you know, kind of get into a groove there because he's one where once he starts feeling it, uh, starts seeing it go in the back of that, he's really, really hard to stop. So, the Wizards have a chance to pick up this face off. They're not able to get it. Here comes Adfield. Adfield. Crossfield pass is completed. When picking up here in the booth, we see Ben Britton sprint onto the field into defense position. Here they go again, setting up behind the net. And it's one of the only sports I've seen is Adam shoots. Blocked. This time it's blocked, but it's one of the only sports I've seen actually where when the ball's behind the net, the goalie actually turns around and looks at the ball. I've, yeah. I've, ne I've never seen that. It's a... Uh a lot harder to turn around on skates. But you see the quick, you can quickly get your feet back, I guess. I will say for on the offensive end for the Cougars, they really, uh, three of their four shots have been from very deep, as we'll see them probably try another one here, but that's easy save. Yeah, Adams tried floating one in there. But three of their four goals have come from pretty far, like deep shots. It kind of speaks to how the Wizards have really held up there defensively. Being swarm there. Number 22. 
Logan Stevens in the timeout for the Wizards. 6-4 lead. They're maintaining that two goal lead as we're near the halfway point of the second quarter. Yep, just holding on. Wizards got to be pretty pleased with how they've played so far, especially on the offens offensive end. I believe they've only had one offensive possession where they really turn the ball over on all the other offensive possessions they've been really good and especially on those breakaways they have taken full advantage yeah and you, you know when their opportunities are limited in the ways that they are uh got to take advantage and when you get your opportunities and they've done a pretty good job of that we have a good uh shot there of the team being coached up listening In case you're wondering, Lakers up by 13 in the end season tournament. Yeah. Not surprising, I would say. They Looking like the Nuggets, Lakers, Western Conference mm. finals rematch in the first round. Oh, it's going to be a good one. Can't count out, can't count out uh, King James. It's hard to. It's got to make you happy as a Warriors fan, huh? <laughs> Get the Pelicans instead of LeBron. Yeah. If you guys can win tonight, of course. Yeah. Big if. Never know. Don't stop believing playing here in the stadium. Getting a little chilly out there. Don't know how conditions are on the field. Expect those lights to be coming up soon as there's some substantial shadows on the field. Yeah. But we're back to action. See if the Wizards looking to jump out to there. And look at that. And look, Hayden Williamson, if you get too close Whoa. to him, he'll run right around you, shoots, and scores. Hayden the, Williamson. The speed and quickness is oh my goodness. just so nice. You can He shows it off right there just how quick his reaction time really is. And he just puts you to sleep, man. He's, just, mm -hmm. he's been jogging all game. He really hasn't shown off that speed, but gets right around those two defenders. A little bit of a you reach, I teach goes right around him. There you go. Finds his spot and pops. Keep the basketball reference <laughs> references coming. In case you can't tell, me and Ryze announce a lot of basketball <laughs> too. But – Definitely. Um, that's just – I think you said it perfectly with lulling him to sleep because they're not ready for that, how quick – it's like a quick first step and quick first step on Hall of Fame. <laughs> Face off win here. Dangerous position for the Wizards as he's right down the middle. Shoots and Ooh. out of bounds. I believe it will be yeah. ball for Res Christian, yes. But they go – Res Christian goes with yeah. some speed there. They, they got a bit of a break there. Oh, Nice save, Bailey. I was headed top left corner. And here we go, Wizards in transition, and they're not able to collect the pass. Adams has two already, and oh, oh. right off the post. That oh, was my goodness. Very. Oh, and here comes Williamson. Cordon Williamson, him an inch from three. Arm by himself, shoots, and he scores. Oh, the fake is nice, too. And oh. Wiz Wizards had two on zero there. Like oh, the, my goodness. Rez is just not getting back on defense off these quick drives. Kevin Larm is eating them alive yeah. over there. If Larm did, and if Larm didn't have that, Cooper Tindall was by he himself was. sitting down there too. So. Oh, my goodness. Just, I think I mean, it looks it, like he kind of faked, maybe faked the pass even to Tindall. And it really just looks like if the Wizards are going to be down there, 1-0, on 2-1-0, on 2-1-1, if they're going to have any sort of advantage, they're going to score. So you yeah. have to stop that if you're the Cougars. But the Wizards are definitely feeling stuff. All three of their attackers scoring. They're getting the fast break points are adding up. They are, and man, if and there we go, Weston Brummer with his with his first face off win. Mm. No, and yes, there we go, and the ball nearly yes. goes out of bounds. Here we go. Had to earn it. Wait for a second, but they got it, and oh, oh he trips. I believe that will be a penalty. However. Or Wizards I'm use a timeout, Wizards, yeah. Yeah, kind of regroup there. But, man, if you're the goalie crown over there for the for the Res Christian Cougs, it's just been a rough day, especially because the defense has allowed so many open shots. Not yep. sure what you're supposed to do there on a 2 on -oh. Yeah, Guy who's beat you twice already on fast break type of plays gets you a third time. Yeah, and in, in a sport like lacrosse, one on, one on, -oh, on, one, -on one goalie with uh, – guy coming by him a guy by himself uh one on one with the goalie is hard enough let alone two on one so and uh those are the kind of opportunities the wizards just are getting off like just a quick fast break runouts 
What do you think is going on with the my music that's playing right now? The there speakers? is my music it's playing. Really we don't know. We'll have to ask EJ about that <laughs> choice. But so Wizards should be able to set up here in the offensive zone once again, where they've been so dangerous. It's like it's like they're trolling, right? <laughs> they are. <laughs> like we're listening to like the background of a of a low clip music. Yeah. So here we go. We'll see if Hayden Williamson is able to get jazzy to this music. Maybe maybe it's a hype up type of thing, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Hayden Williamson cuts inside, shoots. Oh, it's top of the net, but was just right there. Got right by the defense, though. He did. I feel like the wind might have taken that one. You see the yeah. fla fla flag blowing that direction. He made one of those shots already, so here we go. They're going to get Tyndall. I think got it right there. Makes it through a couple of guys. Shoots, oh. and what a missile. Just an absolute perfect ball. Like, oh that is exactly where you got to put it, <laughs> top left. Oh, my goodness. What a tough shot that is. I don't yeah. think you guys realize he's running to his right, shooting to his left with pinpoint accuracy. And, like, very pinpoint. The goalie is covering, like, all but, like, there's a very small window to fit that in from that angle. Calling BTS because that was smooth like butter. Wizards extend their lead to five. I feel like we might have a high-scoring affair, at least for the Wizards. And, man, right, this is so crucial, just this play every time. Can't emphasize yeah. enough because they are not able to stop the Wizards offensively. So if we're getting the ball, we're most likely going to score. And we talked about that in the pregame, the talent of the offense of Tyndall and Williamson, really the factor there, just how they're able to make these shots and create such good shots. And Rez is just kind of... Offensive game plan is currently give it to freshman Jacob Adams and let yeah. him rear back and shoot. Right, it's worked a few times. It, ha it did work a couple times. A little bit of a rumble in front of the net. It's picked up by Jackson. There we go. Jake Jackson with a good pickup. Going to get to Bailey. Bailey looking for the open man. Bit of a forced pass there and a great You think he's going to shoot? Oh, no. He does it. And an awesome save by Carter Bailey back to back. This time he's going to get it to Stevens in transition. Here he goes. Running, I, he's going to be sandwiched there. Drops the ball, picks it right back up. And he leaves it there. And it's picked up. Here we go. Wizards are going to be on the get attack. Get out of there. Nice. That's got to be something. It's, oh, oh, flag. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was, I was going to yeah, say. The ref was just behind the play because the Wizards moved so fast. So you looks like the only way to stop them is to foul him. Looks like he's been shaken up on the play there. He did get that stick kind of like tangled so we'll hear we'll see if he's able to shake it off there Liam Charters hopefully will part of that excellent Wizards offense that's been playing so far and here's the lightning bolt Hayden Williamson I see once I see th there's one defender out there on him right now but I kind of see a lot of open space yeah they got to they're playing off because they know he yeah. can drive right by <laughs> But he, he also has that long distance kind of shot in his bag. I wouldn't say too far away. Oh, oh that was a good save. You can hear that one from up here. Stevens looking for Williamson. They get it to him. Finds his spot. Oh. And the Wizards will be the closest. He showed that deep, deep shot in his bag right there, right? Right after you caught it. A little bit to the left. They're giving him that shot because it's tricky because it's like if you get too close to him, he'll run right around you. But he can't make those type of shots. Yep. And, and you don't want him to be the one shooting the ball. Yeah, it's... Pick your poison, kind of. I mean, if I was Rez, I'd rather give him that shot than let him drive by you and get a better shot. But Wizards on the attack once again. Stevens back. They're much more aggressive defensively here. Tyndall thought he might have had an opening there. He's going to do a tight spin. Ooh. Shoots. Almost. Oh, it went off the, off the top. Very close. And oh. they pick it. What a great play there. Wizards open a transition. A lot of open field goes up, and it was knocked away, and they're going to say it's Cougars' possession. Yeah, almost like looked like that was um, Connor Seaton got, got the 
ball and passed it up, kind of had a little more space to get that a little closer before making that pass potentially. But really good job to pick it up and get the turnover there and almost get the opportunity. And Cougars have really been just on a scoring drought here. Wizards on a little 3-0 run. Yeah, this was a very close game for the first. Oh, oh, the Wizards, they nearly get a steal. They will. Williamson is going to be all by himself. Here he goes, shoots. Oh, he passes. What a move. Tyndall. Oh, my goodness. The ball was everywhere. I didn't even know where it was. Hayden Williamson to Cooper Tyndall for another one. And Hayden Williamson just keeps making the right play he there. Does. And that's just is the right play because Cooper Tyndall's right there with an easy shot. He passes it up with pulls the one defender that they had. Almost had an open goal even yeah, there. Yeah, Wizards had two great shot yeah. opportunities. Took the ladder. And those are those are the your two best scorers too, right there. Too easy kind of there. Doesn't matter when Very it goes pretty. right in the back of the net. But another defensive lapse there as Res Christian calls the timeout. Yeah, and man, their defense is not helping their goalie whatsoever. That is very true. Their just goalie has been put into some very unfortunate, very tough situations. This game is headed towards some call and priest minutes. <laughs> <laughs> call, yeah, it's like it's like Thanasis. You know, the game's over when Thanasis <laughs> comes to the game. I would love to. I would love to see some call and priest minutes out here and. You know, it's a good – you know you have such a huge team, it's good to get all those guys opportunities, get all on the field, get some under their legs. You know, that's the future of your program. So that's always valuable playing experience. We see a lot during basketball yeah. with, with a lot of, like, big leads that they have. But those, are, those guys are the future. Yep. Definitely. A little Michael Jackson now. DJ keeping the crowd engaged. And, you know, it's it's a nice day out here today. Definitely. Sun's going down, so it's getting a little bit nippy outside. But Springtime in Colorado is very pretty. It is. Can't complain. 10-4 lead here for the Wizards with 2-17 left to go here in the first half. It's been all Wizards here in the second quarter as they're on a 4-0 run now. And yeah, just kind of incomplete control. They're even winning their faceoffs right now. And, and Russ Christian has not – they have not even – uh, they've not ever had a lead in this game. Mm -mm. So and their shot, their shot quality on offense has just not been very good. It's kind of the Wizards' defense had to do a lot of work there early. And now it's just kind of the possession's kind of flipping, and the Wizards are just keeping it on the offensive side and scoring almost at will. Brummer on the point, the W looking to get back to work, and it's under his feet. It's under his feet. Can he pick it up? And it's picked up by the Wizards. There we go. So I would assume a score incoming here <laughs> as Hayden Williams comes streaking oh. down the right side. Shoots. Oh, and it stopped there, but it's picked he, up. He I almost, like, snuck that yeah. in. Ken and Larm back to Williamson behind there. You can tell he's feeling himself getting those legs under him. Williamson rocking the left leg sleeve as he does. Little wrap around there, Went not able to go it. in, but the Wizards will have possession once again. That was a shot, and Cooper Tyndall was back there to receive. So here's Tyndall at the goal line. He's approaching. Hujar looked like he was a little bit of a screen, a little bit of pick and roll type action there. He likes to keep it, and it'll be Cougars ball. Yeah. So here they come, streaking down. Team was a little bit out of control there. Not able, not able to stop the Cougs from getting that ball. And, and there's Jet. Uh, he is waiting there at the top. Adams had the ball for most of this game. Drops it to Adfield. Adfield shoots and another save by Bailey. He's having himself a great game. Making the, the nice, simple saves there. He's going to launch that one up. Great pass there to Stevens. And Stevens able to make it past getting whacked two times. Doesn't matter. Oh, when he goes flying. <laughs> I believe he just tripped. I don't think that was because of the spin, but that's not going to look great when they go into film the next morning. <laughs> I was distracted. I was watching these kids with an air horn <laughs> over here. They came, picked up the lacrosse ball, did an air horn, and then did a wheelie on their bike, and now they're driving away. Another air horn. Williams and 
the point there, try getting it in. You can see the goalie there frustrated because they did give him a bit of an open look, and the Wizards are once again <laughs> able to get the ball back. These kids, the kids are on the run, but they're still shooting the air horn off as they go. They think they're funny guys. They made their mark. Uh, 23 seconds. If the Wizards can get one more here, that's makes them would be on pace for 22 goals, which is quite a solid game. Here we go, Charters. Over there, Wizards just taking their sweet time. Last time we saw this, they just had an explosion of energy, just a burst of speed. 10, 9, 8. They're gonna get it to Williamson, and he's gonna be the one taking the shot. Here we go. Five seconds. Four, he's just holding it. Three. They're not even going to shoot. They're not going to shoot. Interesting. Oh. They're, they're could, that's a very, very yeah, interesting th thing. Wow. I don't, I don't know. Kind of. I, I, I'm not going to say disrespectful, yeah. but interesting yeah. move there. They're just going to take their time, not going to force anything, and they'll go into the halftime, I the six-point lead. It seems like you would, like, always say say no lead is safe type of thing, like always want to be looking for that extra goal, but I'm no lacrosse expert. Maybe that's a customary thing. Either way, 10 to 4 the end of this half, we will catch you on the other half. At Windsor State Bank, community banking is who we are. We value ongoing relationships, not just one-time transactions. Whether it's personal or business banking, our customers and their needs come first. When you choose Windsor State Bank, your money is invested into the community, providing loans, local support, and jobs, making our community a better place to live. If you're in need of a bank who is simple, helpful, and friendly to work with, then Windsor State Bank is the bank for you. Windsor State Bank, invested in our community, invested in you. Looking for Windsor's best pizza? There's only one place to go, and that's Pelican Joe's. Locally owned and operated, Pelican Joe's makes for great pizza every time. Pizza isn't their only specialty. They also make wings, salads, and everyone's favorite, pizza rolls. Call Pelican Joe's now.
Welcome back to H.J. Dudley Field for a second half of boys lacrosse. Wizards up 10-4, ending that second quarter on a 6-0 run. They've just been simply electric on the offensive side of the ball, revving up just like that engine in the background with only more goals to score. Yep, that's uh, Wizards looking to replicate that first half performance, really just get it to, your, to Hayden Williamson and Cooper Tindall and let them kind of cook on the offensive end. It's, been what they've done and cooking has been exactly what they have done and uh, just keeping the ball on the offensive end is what the Wizards got to do and uh, should be in route to an easy win as they start with the possession here. Wizards country let's score. Let's score. Quick already offensively there Steve <laughs> Stevens to Larm. Oh. Tindall just moving away slightly there not getting hit. Oh, a little bit of a nice coming over. Here we go. A little crossover. Finding a spot. And air ball. Oh. I think, I think that went off the, the fence. Yeah. That, yeah. that caught like went the, over. That caught where the track meets the grass and spiked up over. Oh, my. No, that was a great save there yeah. by Crown over. What a save. I yeah. don't know how he got that. Oh, Man. but it's picked right back up by Williamson. Here he comes. Pa great pass. Shoots. Oh. Oh, Tendall goes for the around the back. Let's see. They'll give that to be a shot. And uh, got a little flashy with a nice. It, he almost got kind of awkward position there because once he got past the defender, he was right up on the net. Yeah. And it was like, it was a very good pass, though. Uh, quickly up with it was Williamson to get it up to Tendall for that good opportunity. And. RCS doing a better job this time around with their defense as they get another stop there. Fans getting pumped up here on this side. See if you can get something going offensively now, though. He's still surveying. Want to be careful right there with the goalie out of the net. Yeah, they've turned it over on the on the defensive end with possession. How to get it off? Often, what a that's a deep pass. It is, but he had to let it go because. There's a, a certain amount of time you have yeah. to get the ball over. He had to go. No other choice there. Gives it right back to the Wizards. Here they go. Hujar. Hujar getting past the first defender. Here he comes streaking down the right side. Hujar passes Larm right from the net, and he scores. Gavin Ten Larm is just he, Larm is just putting it in whenever he wants. He has, and that, from that spot especially, it's just another case where you just can't let a guy of that skill level be wide open in front of the net. And, you know, he scores again. Great job there by Hujar bringing the ball up. Yeah, Hujar did all the work to set that shot up, brought the defense to him. Simple pass and puts Larm in a very good position for that shot. And Wizards offense picks up right where it left off. Seven un uh, I mean five unanswered goals here for Wizards. Man, this game was, what, two to two at one point, it right? It was. Man. Here we go. A little bit of urgency here. RCS, lots of game left, but they are down by seven goals. A, a, a substantial amount here, so they're going to try to get something going and get something going fast. Yeah. It's not an easy deficit to overcome, that for sure. Here's Wood. They aren't. Shuffling at the 40-yard line. They aren't moving too quickly right here. He's just retreating. Kill Michael right on top of him. Ooh, oh, the big check. Yeah, that's going to get <laughs> and flagged. That, oh, my goodness. Some ego points, though. He got squashed <laughs> like a bug. Yeah, Michael just <laughs> oh flatlined it, just knocked him right you over. Can, you can see that one coming from a mile away, and that is going to hurt when he gets in the shower tonight. That You definitely got some turf burn on that. Yeah. I know field transfer to the wood chips, but that still hurts pretty definitely, bad. Definitely, yeah. Now Michael's going <laughs> to take a seat in the penalty box yeah, for a little bit. he sure is. Big time hit, though. Oh, my goodness. Set, just kind of setting the tone there. Yeah. It's like your enforcer in hockey. You, you enforcer's got to enforce. That's not an awful penalty, I guess. <laughs> You're already winning 11-4, to four, and then you try to get a drive going, haven't gotten much going on the offensive end, and then you just get, like, 
absolutely knocked right down. So, so first power play we've seen here for Rez. Again, around, around, around. Oh my goodness. Wizards is playing some pretty, oh he tries turning the corner and, and excellent defense there, not allowing him to come around. There oh go. my goodness, that was a laser by Atfield. They take advantage of the yeah, power play. That was, and that that's an unsavable shot right there. Yeah. Quick, kind of unexpected, but they have been taking those longer shots, so. And uh, hard to have a guy out there when you're man down defensively. Yeah. So. And the penalty by Michael is gonna come back to bite the Wizards. So the Cougars do a good job there of uh, getting that score back to a six point game. And if, I mean, he starts with these face offs, if they keep winning them and can get some consistency offensively, they can have a chance. But the Wizards are starting to, oh, almost win that these face offs, maybe. There's Kale Michael again. And the Wizards are able to pick it up, but they did got ran out of bounds there. Very competitive faceoff though. Rez starting to feel themselves a little bit here. See if they can get some momentum going. Back to back goals would be big time for them. Don't know if they want to run right in on Kale Micro again though. Arnold drifting to the deep right corner going. Back behind the net, and another check there. That one was legal. And Arnold is just back there waiting. Nothing going here. These Rez players are starting to find a seat on the floor. They are. Ball picked back up. Here we go here. The big 26. Andrew Adfield. A little shake and bake. Drives inside. Loses possession. Good defense there by the Wizards. Ooh, and, penalty will keep it uh, with Cougars. Not like, a not a power foul, play yeah. penalty, yeah, but just foul there. Yeah, foul. That's the word. A lot of offensive time here. Another shot. This time it's saved by Bailey. Good play there by Bailey. Being absolutely <laughs> hammered by Adams. Struggling to get it out. He finally does. Good oh. effort by Adams, though. Oh. Force that deep pass to have to be made. So Adams back on the offensive end, making a difference. Pester in the goalie. And Adams has been, I think, the clear best player out there so far. Yeah. With those goals, and that offensive presence can really shoot the ball from anywhere. That time showing a little bit of. Defensive finesse. I've kept kept the team in the game in that first quarter for a while with those couple of goals. But now the Wizards defense just holding strong and they knock it out. Great job by the Wizards. Got to pick up that ball. And here comes Hannah Williamson. He gets it. Out of bounds. Oh, though. my. Yeah. And they are, they are so lucky because that yeah. was going to be a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. I was not. Oh, man. Goalie is. Thankful for that check. Good, good check though to push him out of bounds. Great, great check, that. great play. Yeah. Don't want to downplay that, but that was going to be a rough position there for Crown over yeah. if Williamson was able to get down there. But Rush Christian only scored one goal so far here in the third, but they're feeling themselves a lot of offensive pressure right now for the Wizards, and that defense is wearing down just a little bit. Here we go on the wraparound, oh. right in front. Nice pass and opportunity there. My goodness. That was close. That was close. They had a play like that earlier. Yeah. They were able to connect on it. That's what you call a good look. Oh. And right, <laughs> right there, they tried to set a screen, and Cameron Smith just barreled right <laughs> over the screener. <laughs> then Ben Britton just standing right over him. Yeah. Oh, man. Cameron Smith was not phased by that screen. Here we go. Here we go. Again. This time, Wizards amping up the defense, trying to force an error pass there, nothing going. Arnold, right in front of the R. He's going to come back inside, cross pass. He goes off the side of the net. Wizards Another catch a break. Good chance, though. These opportunities are looking a little better now. Oh, because earlier in this game, they weren't yeah. finding those inside lanes, and they certainly are now. Exactly. Wizards under a little bit of pressure. Nice spin, spin by Atfield, shoots. 
Has nice move though. Oh. They're just they're just missing the goal right now. They're not they're getting good looks now. They are. Wizards need to clear the ball. There's Adams behind once again. That playmaker, here he goes. Gonna pass to the point. Shot by Adfield. And a great save by Carter Bailey. Carter Bailey's doing it. And a and a pretty pass there, but they they definitely could be. A very closer ga game if Carter Bailey didn't make some big time saves. That's very true. He's been the better of the goalie of the two out there tonight. Going all the way around inside, one on there one, you go. And, and that just that was bound to happen with the amount of opportunities that was. the Cougars were getting right next to the goal. They were getting very good penetration. They weren't getting that in the first, but Wizards need to get set up in the offensive zone very stale right now and that defense is tired they've spent most of the third quarter defending they were doing a decent job but finally they cracked under the pressure and the lead is cut to five 11 to six and that's a danger even leading by as much as the wizards are of uh playing a team that has such a face-off advantage is if they get something going offensively it's difficult to it, a comeback can happen like because it's not like other sports where you get the possession back, it's like if you can't win that faceoff and they keep getting the offensive possession, it can get dangerous. So here come the Cougars once again. Patiently waiting. Their set offense has been much. It's been night and day really compared here as they oh. take a spin. Still has the ball. Oh. He's going to shoot it. And that would have been a highlight goal. It would have been. It's like a jump spin through two defenders, but not too close. They're approaching once again. Atfield shoots, and he's way off. And it will be Wizards' ball there. Great hustle by number 27, Gavin Bishop. Able to get possession here for the Wizards. Here comes Michael. Michael with a big whack, unfazed. Loses the ball, and he will not gain it back. Kicks it forward. And it'll roll right to the Man, goalie. Man, <laughs> fortunate turn there. He, sh he shrugged off that first one, but and that's tried been going. to just keep going. Oh, quick turnaround for the Cougars, but they don't have their offense fully back, so they can't end. That's the wrong oh, team. Oh, man, what a yeah, rough, rough pass there. And it's ch checking into the game right there. Oh. Getting the ball immediately now. Oh, getting a little chippy there was Brendan Mulligan. Timeout, Cougars. He hails from Windsor Charter Academy. Yep. One of a couple charter members on this team of and, course and the momentum riding with the Cougars right now still down five with 352 left to go in the quarter but certainly they've been the better team this third quarter what do the Wizards need to get back to to extend that lead um I would say the biggest thing that I feel has changed in this third is uh t time of possession like when the Wizards are getting in the offensive they aren't getting goals, or and they aren't holding it for very long. They're turning it over very quickly, which is just getting Rez a lot of opportunities. Um, so either holding it for a little longer on the offensive end or uh, just getting those better looks to your to your star players like Tyndall and Williamson is what they can do. And then the defense for a couple of those possessions there is allowing um, some easy looks, but they seem to have cleaned that up these last couple of opportunities for Rez. But it just seems like when Wizards get – the ball up the field into the offensive zone, they're turning it over. Very two need to get back to their bread and butter offensively, get that set up. But Christian, even though they have been playing very well, they still have a lot of work left to go. Still down five. Yep. It's Wizards still very much in control of this game, and that's what I, I mean. If you're the coach, you say, hey, maybe feels like they got the momentum, but you still need to realize we're almost doubling their score and are in with about 16 minutes, 16, a little under 16 minutes to go. You're still up five goals is a very good spot to be in. 
even if it feels like you may not have the momentum. So Jordan Buman Jr. will start with this one. Goes back to purple. Purple. Uh, bit of a hot pass there, awkward position. Thought about that long shot. Led just to hold it back. Much better passes here for Raz Christian here in the second half. Here comes Adfield. They gave him the right, so he goes right, shoots. And another save by ba Carter Bailey. Bailey's just holding it down right now. He's the one keeping the Wizards from this game getting too close as Carter Bailey making some big-time saves. And you see they get the ball up the field, but the Rez there, it looks like the Wizards might be able to control it finally, but Rez has been picking that up right there. There you go. Now you... Good job by Keenan Lauren getting possession there, but I believe. And the Wizards uh, are just yeah. going to use a timeout. Yeah, timeout was a really crazy kind of play there. Yeah, <coughs> Definitely a, a great opportunity here for the Wizards to get into one of their sets. Definitely. And I think that's what, you, out of this timeout, you imagine you draw that up. When it's completely died down here. Nice. 2.56 left to go in the third quarter. Your Wizards up. Five. Wizards definitely the better team in the first, but Cougars were getting something going here with two straight unanswered goals. A lot of work to do, but Wizards should have an opportunity to get to 12 here as they will have the ball and they will set offensively. Yep, and uh, feels like a more evenly matched game in this second uh, half. Versus, and honestly, you could say it was an evenly matched for a while there in that first quarter. It was really the second quarter that was just sheer domination from the Wizards. And that's what's setting this game apart. So Hayden Williamson will start off this one. Expect him to be aggressive. A lot of times we see he knows that they need a goal, put the team on his back, and find the back of the net. Yeah. And that's what they've done out of these timeouts in that second, too. Whenever there was out of timeout, he'd just run right by and put it in the net. So we'll see. Here comes Williamson in between the hashes. Spins back. Thought about the shot. Gets past him. Shoots oh. over the top of the net. But the Wizards will be the closest and will retain possession. And sure enough, he went for it. He did. Could tell that that was one where just like give it to Williamson and, and let him go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he lost his glove there on that one. Not that sure how that happened. I thought we had another <laughs> broken stick incident like last couple games ago. But that was a glove. It looked like the top of the stick. Stevens trotting across the middle. Cuts left. Spins back right. Ball over to Hujar. Who's our retreats? Takes a few steps, jabs. Ooh. Oh, and Hayden Williamson just got checked. Shrugs it right off and gets right back up. You love to see it. That's part of the screener, though. If you can slow him down, even if you get knocked down, it's like. Stevens whirls around. Back to Who's our low pass is received. Was just kind of holding the ball here. Not much, not much going, but good move there by Hujar. Right back to Tyndall. Tyndall a stutter step. Getting harassed. Looks like he got chopped in the neck there. They will get a yeah. flag. Oh, man. Man, that was a that was a really rough play there. Yeah. He kind of chopped him straight down, got himself in an awkward position, hit the shoulder, neck area. Wizards maintaining lots of offensive possession here with under two minutes left to go. Exactly what they needed to do. And it looks like number 41 will be taking a seat in the penalty box. So the Wizards have a man advantage here. So many weapons offensively. We'll see who will be the one to cut inside and score. Well, you got a minute 39, so you imagine I'd run the pick and roll play. We'll start here with Charters. You got an extra man. Charters to Tyndall. 
Tyndall waiting back to Charters. Tindall at the point inside. Larm shoots and a great save there by Crownover. Very good look. My goodness. That was an excellent save there by Crownover. Yep. Here we go. Wizards still have the advantage. Trying to get some going here. That's the right idea. Williamson on the flank. Cross court pass. Shoots over the top of the net. But he's the closest to the ball again, so we'll pick it up. One minute left to go. Wizards just trying to get something going here again. Inside, shoots, and go. Larm able to get it I in mean, between the pipes. With that, with that man advantage, it's just a matter of time, pretty much, with this Wizards offense that they put it in. Now doubling the score of the Cougars, 12 to 6. So good little extra insurance goal with a, under a minute to go in this third quarter. Very much so in control of this one. Wizards doubling the score of the Cougars there. And the Cougars, you cannot afford a penalty the way this Wizards offense has been playing. But they've had the advantage. They've taken advantage of it. Oh, quick win and... Quick win. And I thought they were going to shoot it sooner than that. Bailey is able to gather the ball. Bit of a dangerous play there, but he gets it out. Maybe should have shot it a little sooner than that. Michael gets it up. Great catch there by Stevens. Stevens, midfield. Fakes it to Williamson. Just moving down that, le that right side. Here comes Williamson. Gets it inside to Larm. Larm, can he pick it up? Can he pick it up? He can't. And yes, oh, yes, he can. Yes, he can. 20 seconds left here. Larm just trying to find someone so the Wizards can get a final shot. Spinning around. Open the middle. Shoots. Closest to it will be Wizards with Tandle. They got nine seconds, so here we go. Have to be quick here for the Wizards. Coming around. Shoots. Shoot. A shot, and it's saved. He won't be able to pick it up before the buzzer sounds. Just like that, the Wizards going into the fourth quarter with a 12 to six lead. Yep, and look like the better team out here overall. A little res looked competitive there in that quarter for a while though. Going into this fourth quarter, expect the Cougars to be much more aggressive, especially there on the offensive end. Here we are back again for some late night fourth quarter WB, 
WWBN lacrosse coverage. As Brummer fighting, 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 lays on top of him, and it's blue ball. So here comes the Cougars getting set up again. They're off at the zone. Got to make up a six goal deficit here. See if they're able to do it. Got to be up two goals every, or no, they need to be scoring one goal more than the Wizards every two minutes. So here's the first two minutes here. So yeah, they're Nine. on pace if they can get a goal right here in the next two minutes. And look, there they are. It's like, how, I mean, what are you supposed to do there? Great defense. Trying to get something, anything going here. Directing traffic at the top. They still got a minute to be on pace. Is so that field? That field. Nice inside shoots. And it'll bounce over the top of the net. Not a very harm harmful shot there from very far away. Yeah. Here comes Adams. Ball has been on his stick lots today. Oh, oh that, now, that was great defense there by Ben Britton. Ben Britton losing the ball there. Tries to pick it back up. Can't quite. It was almost and, we'll, and there goes Kale Michael. Every time he gets hit, man, it doesn't even matter. It's going to be a good shot opportunity, but kind of hesitated for a second. Holding, hold, Just holding the ball there like a scepter. <laughs> King Kale. And here comes the ever so shifty Hayden Williamson. They get him checked in, and he's right up the. Oh, my goodness. He was going everywhere, lost the ball, and he picks it back up. He picks it back up. Good play by, by Williamson. Has some fresh legs under him as he just got into the game. Back to the point. Striding right. How about shooting? He's, like, right in front of the net. Lots of defenders there. Spins back. He's got an open net. He shoots and he scores. Cooper Tendall with the great awareness there. With the spin, put him in the blender and the smooth finish. He that was very a very smooth uh, smoothie, if you will, after the blender. <laughs> Thirteen to six now, Wizards in a pretty good spot. So here we go again. Waiting. You know, I would expect some more urgency here from the Cougars. Yeah, you kind of need a lot of yeah. goals in a little amount of time. So here's Newman. Fumbling with the pass a little bit. And it'll be Wizards ball. Shot clock violation. Here we go. Picked up. And the Wizards get started here. Pass over to Cooper Tindall. Watch the Wizards attack here. A lot of open space there in the middle. Finally, the defenders catch up and are able to get there. Number 40, Ian Suaro. Wizards very methodical here. They have great speed. You're watching them play. Well, up and under move. Tindall not able to do much with that one. Back to Charters. Charters. A little bit of a cross. Shoots. And Suarez right behind the net. Waiting there for it. So Hayden Williamson will be the one to pick it up. Coming around right in front of the net. And it's lost there. And it will be blue ball. A bit of a wild pass there. Three subs coming in for Rez. Time running out here for the Cougars. Here on this cool Windsor night. And it's going to be a... Oh, I thought... I th it looked like it was a score. One of those situations where just at the back of the net. And 
Oh, what a pass there. Yeah. Here comes Stevens, roaring down the middle. Over, oh. behind the back. Oh, no. and he sold his clip. Yeah, he sold the clip big time. Oh, what a my pass goodness. by Tindall there. The pass <laughs> was not the problem. It was on target. He just wasn't able to connect. No, oh, man, that would have been a pretty one. Sports Center top ten. I mean, it was a really pretty pass behind the back like that, but. What a shot there. Good defense by Gavin Bishop. 7.53 left to go in the fourth quarter. Your Wizards are up 13-6. to six. Much improved fourth quarter here for the Wizards. Here we go again. Adfield. Passing it up to the top. Low pass. Still collected in. Wiggins. Wiggins. Going to set up behind the net. Going to wrap around. Not going to shoot. Just going to give it right back to Adfield. A little crazy pass there. Good defense here by the Wizards. Xander Adfield again. Go left. Awkward shot angle here. He's going to take it, and it's saved by Carter Bailey. And it's saved by Carter wow. Bailey again. That was a really quick rebound on his same shot, but Bailey was able to get his hands right back and up. And here comes the red rocket. Ben Britton roaring down the right side. Passes inside. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He was on his horse on that one. Thought that he might be the one taking the shot of Lex to pass it back into the middle of Bishop. Rez finds the back of the net there. It might just look like a little too little too late. I mean, they have been winning these faceoffs, so they're going to get plenty of opportunities, but I just still feel like they got to yeah. be a little more aggressive, a little more on the attack. Now you're looking at needing about a goal a minute. So. And Carter Bailey ha has had a very good game. Yep. Definitely so. could be a little closer if he didn't make a couple good saves. So here we go, a pretty big face-off here. We're just going to try to win it. Here we go. Brummer fighting, and Brummer, he picks it up. Gets He's out of there with it, nice. Great job by Brummer. Here we go. Look, you can see that they're getting a little more aggressive here. They kind of have to be. And a huge win by Weston Brummer. Getting it when it counts. Hayden Williamson. Coming down, gets whacked, doesn't matter, shoots. Just a little to the left. To the left, to the left. To the left by a good amount there. To the left, to the left, to the left, I would think. <laughs> and now, the Wizards are trying to kick one into the goal. Charters. A little bit of a condensed formation here. Wizards not and you can see when Charter when Charter draws him out, there's a wide open area space. And look, Kedden, like you see Larm fill it up right there. Would have been a tough pass, but that's the idea the, that the what the Wizards are trying to do here, and it's worked so far. Yeah, but they're not going to take too many much chances to even get pass in there because they're right looking to take this clock. Tindall opens, shoots, nice. and he scores. Gets by two lines of defense himself Ooh. and just puts it in the top of the goal. 14-7, to seven. Wizards back to double in the score. Tindall had that ball perfectly in a straight line. Great shot there into the top right corner. And it'll be another goal for the Wizards. 14 to 7 football score here. Yeah. So, here we go. Another battle there from Brummer. We got a holding call yeah. on the He's been battling all night. Michael coming back. He's been a great defensive force. Here come the Cougars once again, just trying to get another one in the back of the net here. Tindall. 
Taking a lot of time off that clock. Five minutes left to go here. Shot. Tipped a couple of times. Trying to pick it up. It's Liam Charters. He gets played. out of there with it. That was a great that was a great play by Liam Charters. Great aggressiveness there. Putting the move on. Gets right past him. And Charters, so speedy there. Oh, the spin move. Gets Keep whacked going. in the calf, and it doesn't matter. Hujar streaking down the right side. He sees an opening. Cuts inside. Oh, back, back. He'll back out. Defense got back there in time. Wizards on the attack once again. Number 36, Trent Womack. The freshman into the game now. Okay, here's a drive. Back left, thought he might shoot it there. Womack. Thinking about it. Thought he might see something there. Nice little move there. Back out to Womack, just playing a little two-man game. Here's Tindall inside, shoots. Oh. oh, and a good save there by Crownover. Solid shot put on the goal, but. Crownover. Good save there. Under the four minute mark now. Cougars trying to score eight goals in the span of three and a half minutes. It's going to be a tough task. Atfield driving with a power move into the net. Almost snuck it in there, it seemed like. And Carter Bailey is able to cover that one up. So the Cougars trying to do some more damage here. Wizards have been have been playing pretty good defense this game. A little bit of an unpredictable coming into this one, but I think the Wizards have clearly been the more dominant offensive team as a nice deflection there by number 27, Gavin Bishop. Three minutes exactly left to go. Adams the, thought about shooting it right there, and it goes in back door. Perfect play there. As number twelve, Leighton Henry, was Chris able to get moment. it in. <coughs> oh, huge goal to cut the deficit to six. Here we go, 2.49 left. Lead cut to six. We'd love to see one more offensive push here for the Wizards. Brummer battling once again, not able to pick it up. Adfield has shown why he's one of the best face-off men in Colorado right now. So here we go once again. Again, not much urgency here from Rush Christian. They have had, you know, the hot hand here for the past couple of minutes. Sure, Adfield's going to shoot it. He does. And another save there by Bailey. Gets it to the open field. Stevens struggling to pick it up. Falls down. And it is picked up by Tyndall. All right, here comes Tyndall. Picking up pace. Slows down a little bit here. With two minutes left to go. Want to just keep the ball in your zone. No stupid passes here. Whirling around is Suaro. Back to Tyndall. Back to Stevens. Under the two minute mark. The Wizards just taking their time. There's Charters right there. Charters assuming his position behind the net. You see Williams there setting the screen. Yeah, it looks like the Wizards just running this clock out here. With 120 left to go in the game. Pretty much sealed at this point. Stevens back inside. Ball deflected and picked up back to the goalie. And 
Crown over searching for someone to pass it to, but look at Williamson on the attack. He's William, he, he's definitely faster. He does, and he is certainly going to be faster than anyone back there. Great play there by Hey Williamson, just getting after it. And you don't want to get caught. I forced Resin to using a timeout. Yeah, you don't want to get caught in a speed in a speed race with and the Cheetah. When you only have so much time to get it up, that just takes all the time they have. So with 59.3 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter, Wizards up 14 to 8. The offense came back alive here in the fourth quarter. And, you know, it, it's been the usual cast of characters here for the Wizards. Ken and Larm, Cooper Tindall, and Hayden, Hayden Williamson inflicting most, of the da uh, inflicting most of the damage. But not to be, you know, not talked about is Carter Bailey, who has had an yeah. excellent, he's had an excellent game back in the goalie position. A couple of good saves. So this should give the Wizards some momentum going on forward into the season. You know, a lot of times with all of our sports here at Windsor High School, we play some tougher teams, you know, for our non-conference schedule. And I feel like a lot of time th these guys, gals, can get a little discouraged. You know, it's really hard just playing tough teams week after week after week. But, you know, it, it, it toughens you up. It conditions you for a game like this where you're against, you know, an equal type of opponent and you're just able to take advantage of their miscues. And that's what the Wizards have been able to do today. Yeah, exactly, and like you were saying, that is kind of a thing that we've seen. It seems like all of the teams at this uh, school like to do is play tougher opponents, and even if your record's not as good, it's good experience and a good resume builder. That was really evident with our basketball team. They said it was very important losing those early games to those really tough opponents, and yeah. then getting it. Come, they came into conference season and were undefeated all the way up until that final game. So that really seems to be something that this program's doing and it seems to work. Steal there, Williamson inside, sh slips. Oh. Hope he's okay, a bit of an awkward play there. Looking for another goal. Just a quick it, it was an awkward fall, just hoping that he gets up all right, and he does, he, seems he does, yet. he does. It's kind of scary when you see those falls that are all right, herky yeah. jerky. Especially when you're, the game's already settled. Right? Yeah, like, certainly. You don't need to be doing, taking those chances with your best player. So the Cougars will take one more crack at it. Wizards will improve as they get another steal here. And there's Williamson, not by himself. Actually, pretty good defense there, pushing him out. But he sees only 30 seconds left. He's just going to try to sit there, waste time. Keeps going after him. Triple, almost triple team there. He has a lot of guys coming after him. <laughs> there he goes. He's just too fast. He will outrun all of them. Here he goes, whirling back around. Crossfield pass, and five seconds left to go in the game. And just like that, the buzzer sounds, and the Wizards <laughs> improve their record to five and five. And the Res Christian Cougars will drop to five and five. Great game today from the Wizards offensively and defensively, really picking it up in that second half. Your final score is 14 to eight. This is Ry Simmons and Kayla Mar on the call. We'll see you next time on the Wizard Wizards Broadcasting Network. Have a great night, everyone.